Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena. Привет! I'm your Russian-American makeup and beauty addict. I love buying, doing tutorials and reviewing affordable, all inexpensive, usually, makeup from AliExpress, drugstore, dollar store. I'll test it on my face and I'll pass the savings to you guys. This is one of the videos where I follow certain people. So I was thinking it was going to be interesting to follow a real pro makeup artist, which I have a lot of respect for. And this is Robert Welsh. I'm going to be, to be following his uh, natural light makeup tutorial, Full Glam. So we're going to be doing this and see what happens when you use a real trip tips and, and tricks of real makeup artists. So if you guys are interested to see what happens, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Like this video, it helps me if you like it and leave me a comment below. Let's get right into this tutorial. So I've been watching Robert Walsh quite a bit and I watched his brother James Walsh, his twin brother. If you guys don't know, not sure who they are, uh, I'm going to be linking their channels down in the description box. One of them is a pro makeup artist from Britain and the other one is his twin brother and he's a skincare specialist. They both have channels and they're both very popular. I started watching Robert and then I watched James a little bit too. So this is like really, really interesting. So uh, Robert does real tr tips and tricks for from real makeup artists uh, compared to Instagram influencers and YouTube influencers. Uh, you know, a lot of us tend to pile everything on, which even I do sometimes. <laughs> But I kind of agree with a lot of his tips. So as I'm doing my makeup following his video, which is on my phone here, I'm going to be probably running his part of his video here. And probably on silent because otherwise it's going to be way, way, way too long. So first and first, he did this video on natural light. I'm in LA, which has a lot of light, but in our apartment building, we don't have very good natural light. So I was trying to do it by our balcony, but the light was so dark. So I'm like, no, I'll do it with my regular light. So, oh well. So first things first, he put a uh, primer on and he used something pore filling, but not uh, what I have. I, I do have the Benefit Professional. And this is the one I got in the BoxyCharm box. Uh, this is the hydrating one. And I'll put it, where, like you said, where I need uh, a little pore feeling. My pores are not huge. I never suffered from acne that much when I was in those years. So I never really got my pores opened up that much. So I'll put it where I have fine lines more to like fill in fine lines. So then he used a uh, setting spray because his skin is oily. So he used the uh, Mighty Fine setting spray, I think. But since I'm the opposite, I'm dry, you also have to uh, kind of uh, do your own thing when you watch uh, tutorials, even the pro makeup artists, like he says to, you customize to your own skin type and your own um, shapes. So I'm gonna use the Pretty Fresh Colourpop Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. And usually I don't do that. I just use hydrating primer, but we'll do this. So next he put the primer on because he did eyes first since he was using uh, a glam, a full glam tutorial. So I'm going to use my with my P. Louise base and the brush just the same way he did. So I'm using P. Louise base and color Rumor 05. So I'm applying primer in a very small amount, the way he says it. That's another thing that I agree with. I love when he says that you need very little primer. You don't need to pile it on and tap and tap and tap with a flat brush. It just creates texture that you don't need. I so agree with this. I could not agree with this more. I like bright eyeshadow, but when it comes to primers and powders, I'm a minimalist. 
I don't like a lot of it. So next he went in with uh, Tati Beauty, and which I have, of course. If you've seen my channel, I reviewed it, I gave away one, and this is a beautiful palette. It's not my uh, forte. I don't really do neutral looks, I love color, but we're going for neutral glam. So, so he went with uh, Ritual first. It was kind of like a brush like this. It's a Moda brush shade. Uh, it's kind of a medium size, I would say, Clafier brush. So he went right into the crease and he said, holding the brush midway and pushing down into the eye socket. Pretty much he said like a massage in your eyeball. <laughs> sort of. So let's try this. Go into Ritual and go right into the crease. So he said not to point it up or down, or sh just straight in. Because you don't want to just pour color everywhere. And just focus on the outer corner, and not really going into inner corner yet. So I didn't mention he's working with mattes in his palette. So next I'm taking a clean brush, the way he was doing it. And again, holding it not up, not down, but straight in. We're going to blend this out. So. It just the edges are softer and not as harsh so blend this out in circles it's really simple techniques but it really worked well I love watching him do you guys watch Robert Welsh I think I mean if you in the US especially the British accent always sounds so cool and so exotic and sexy <laughs> I think I like uh, watching real makeup artist tips. I like cool Instagram looks, you know, real over the top, but the real trips, trips, tricks, <laughs> and tips of makeup artists, real pros, it always works well. Next, he took another brush and went to a color Soothe, again, a matte Soothe. And let me take another brush, a little bigger brush from the same Moda set. This is grease brush, and I'm going closer to inside, inner corner, uh, to create more depth. Again, the same way, not pointing up, not pointing down, but straight in. Again, just massage on your eyeball. Well, he has hooded eyes. I don't. I have deep set eyes, so it's like totally different story. So when you blend out, you have to consider your own eye shape and see what works for you. So next he's doing the low lash line and he's going in with a smaller pencil brush. Uh, I would use a smaller brush like this. I could probably go smaller, but I think it's good enough. That's from same water brush and we're going into the color Ritual first, the same brown matte. And I'm going to line under my eye and make sure to connect uh, outer corner and a low lash line so you don't get weird kind of a disconnected look so make sure on all angles it's gonna look good so next he took uh, I think he took the first brown brush with the, the same color and or did he take blending brush? I think he took a brush with no color in it. I don't remember. But we're blending this out. We're blending the brown here and here. I think it was the first brush with brown. I'm confused already. I'm watching it and I'm keeping being confused. So the uh, point is to extend this brown a little bit more, I guess, to build up the color. And make sure it's connected to the low lash line. I like circles, circles. So next he took the first color, the one that went into the inner corner, and that's the Soothe. And we're going to blend out the low lash line. So next he took a small pencil brush again. I don't know if he took the same one he used the brown on. But I could, I guess. So I'm going to use the same brush, go through a color switch, and go into memory black. And we're going to do this outer corner deepening. Just tap it in. 
outer corner a little bit into crease so we're not dispersing it, we're just placing it into the outer corner. So I don't remember what the uh, sequence of the blending was, but I'm going to go back into the brown ritual and blend it out, the black and the brown. I think he did the low lash line with black first, but it's okay. I can switch up the order. Then he took a real flat brush uh, to push the color in. I'll take this uh, Focal Lure brush with dual end and this has a very pointy side and I'm gonna pick up some more memory in the black and I kind of line my eyes. So this is where I would make a uh, shape a little different because his eyes are uh, hooded but behind uh, a very deep set. So if anything close to my lash line it's gonna make my eyes look smaller and closed in. So I'm gonna make it a little bit away from my lash line and close it to the brown, like as far away as possible. Because that's not a flattering shape on me. So I'll make the black a little more diffused and a little lower down. And I'm not doing black in my waterline because that's gonna look ridiculous. And my eyes are going to literally disappear. So now I'm taking the brown and I'm going to smooth it out. I was supposed to take a clean brush to smooth it out. I think he took a clean brush. See, I'm forgetting the order. <laughs> Blend this out. So next he took a super shock eyeshadow from Colourpop and he popped it on his um, main lid. So that, here's the thing. Uh, I never used this on my channel, but I did order this and it's been sitting in my desk, so I might as well try it now. So this is Birthday Wish. This is not the same shade he was using, but it looked the brightest and the nicest to me, so I'm a parakeet, I like everything bright. So I'll use the same spray first, Colourpop Pretty Fresh. I spray this brush, some Morphe Flat brush, and we're gonna go in. And I'm excited because I've never tried uh, Colourpop Super Shock eyeshadows ever. We'll see. So we're faking the cut crease now. He took a small brush and he used uh, Aura, which is a uh, metallic Aura, and highlighted inner corner, which I've kind of like, I agree with this, but the order of things, if I put a uh, concealer in my inner corner, it's gonna take away the highlight. So usually I would highlight my inner corner later, but for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna do with what, what he did, and maybe I'll reinforce it later if it goes away. So then he took a brush with the black eyeshadow and then with the brown and blended in the super shock eyeshadow. Alright, so the blend is done and looks very smoky. So next he went with the glitter. And I know Robert doesn't like glitter. He said he was scared of glitter. I'm not scared of glitter. I eat the red glitter for breakfast. But I'm kidding. But anyway, don't eat glitter. Don't do what Donald Trump said <laughs> and eat things you're not supposed to ingest. I'm just saying. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with Sue's shade. Where is this video going? Anyway, Sue's glitter. It's very golden. I'll just put it in my finger and tap it on. He used liquid glitter, but I have this and why not? I find that Tidy Beauty glitter doesn't fall out as much, even without glitter glue. So I don't mind it at all. Now look how much different this looks. Okay, so here's the thing. In the next part of the video, he color corrected and applied concealer. They never showed him, they, he never showed himself wiping under the eyes. So he, did he apply concealer right over the fallout? I have to clean up. So I'll use a little co cotton round and the micellar water. Clean it up, moisturize, and I'll be back. All right, two things that I did differently from Robert Welsh, uh, and this is all customizable to your eye shape, to your likes. He did the black uh, waterline, and I did silver, because my waterline cannot be black, my eyes are gonna be shut, as if I've been bitten by bees, so I'm not doing it. So cream gel eyeliner in Colourpop in silver, and for my 
upper lash line he didn't do anything but i don't like not having any color at all and just eyelashes because the lash the fake lash doesn't blend well so i just used a little angle brush like this from the same moda brush set and i went back to memory and i just put a little black eyeshadow just to line slightly very slightly so now we're going to color corrector i don't really do it often but i think i could use it my circles are pretty dark so i'm using <laughs> a great dollar store brand la colors it's an exclusive item for one dollar from 99 cent store <laughs> but it's very light and very peach it's not like orange or anything so i think this is a really good color so i'm gonna put it just where i see the darkness like here my inner corner i think i'm already using too much i'm going to wipe it off a little bit so i'm just gonna tap it with my finger he used a little brush but i think i'm just gonna use my finger as you can see it disappears and i think that's exactly what he meant that the peach character should be light enough or stained he used stain i don't have stains but this is light enough to just blend and disappear onto my skin so this is items from my dollar store video and i have not touched this uh, corrector after that actually that's not bad it corrected the darkness by itself pretty well so I might, I might want to use it again. So then he went in with a concealer all over the blemishes. And I'm going to use the Hydrating Elf Concealer. Common Concealer. This is great. And it's very pigmented. And it's very full coverage. I love it. So he went to inner corner. He doesn't go like a lot. So this is where it gets interesting. Because I tend to pile a concealer too. I love concealer. But... And my skin is dry and I'm 45, so <laughs> you don't want to overpile it. So let's do the Robert Walsh way. And I kind of put like quite a bit here. He did. And he put like a couple of dots on the outer corner. And he put it next to his nose. Like I have redness here too. And I think he put it like on his forehead. And I'm using a small blending uh, um, sponge. This is from Hank and Henry. I received this in boxy jar. These are great because they can be used dry and they don't take away coverage. He used the Blendiful. I like Blendiful for powder. I still don't really like it that much for cream products. Okay, blended the concealer. I gotta be honest, I added just a dot more on each side of the eye because my circles are pretty dark, so I needed like another dot or two. So I covered an under eye. So I'm going, uh, he went with the BB cream. I don't have BB creams, but I do have the Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Protective Makeup Sunscreen, Broad Spectrum 50 SPF, maybe Link, whatever. It's a long name. I wouldn't say it's like a full, full coverage, so I think it would be kind of comparable to it. And we're in skin in, in summer now. In LA, it's been hot. It's like 82 degrees today, so I'm going to squeeze this a little bit on my hand and use the Make a Sponge from Hank and Henry. And this one's for the face. It's a large sponge and it does not absorb a lot, which I like. So I'm gonna use this to cover my face. All right, foundation blended. As you can see, you can still see a little bit of sunspots through. So I would say this is more like a BB cream to me. It's not really full, full coverage. You can build it up, but it's not like extreme. So it's very pleasant and it's very um, hydrating to me. And SPF gives a low glow. I know that some people say it breaks them out. I think Tati Westbrook says it breaks her out, but for me, it's perfect. So for the concealer stick, he used something like it's very, very cool toned and it's very expensive. So I have cheap one from Wet n Wild and I've been using it in some of my videos. I don't cream conceal normally and he says uh, to look down to see where the natural shades go. So here. So this is quite dark actually. I think it's darker than his. So I'm gonna use it sparingly. I'm gonna blend it in. So contour blended. Next you use the highlighter stick on the other side of that stick. And I'm not uh, pleased with the same uh, highlighter stick as Wet n Wild. 
it's kind of too greasy I would say so I'm gonna use my uh, concealer that's the lightest I have and I would say it's Juvia's Place 21 it's kind of like too light so I never use it so he says use it wherever you need highlighting like real light so he put it like down the middle of his nose and he put it in the here. I don't know if I really need it there, but I do need it in my inner corners because that's the darkest part. So I'm going to put quite a bit here. And I guess more where he put it on the outside corners. And uh, he put it in the middle of the forehead. So let's put it in my middle of my forehead here. The same way he did in here, sides of the nose, where the light catches. So he says put the uh, highlight concealer shade where the light catches and you want to reflect. So the light reflects on the sides of the nose, so I guess make it uh, all lighter. All right. I don't remember he put it on his chin. I'm pretty sure he didn't. So I'm just going to blend this in. All right, let's say I went a little crazy with this highlighting concealer and I had to remove a little bit because we're going for more a real natural makeup. This goes a long way and I forgot how the long way it goes. So we still want to look natural, but it's natural, I guess. <laughs> this turned to a Scott Barnes tutorial. So and the next thing is powdering. So he says he used a kind of a blurring powder and it was a pressed powder. I like to set my eyes with CoverGirl Advanced Radiance, so that's a press powder, so I'm gonna do that for my under eyes. And the rest of my face, it has a little bit of color to it. I'm gonna go with Maybelline Fit Me. I haven't used this in a long time. I forgot how good it was. So next we're going with the, uh, the same setting spray, it's Hydrating Mist. And that's pretty fresh, Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. Uh, are you ready for it? The dramatic drag. Pen pop. Okay, so now we're going with the blush and highlighter. So what I noticed that he applied blush on the little kind of powder puff thing. I think he might not have mentioned it, but I think it was a uh, cream blush. Don't take my word for it, but I don't use or don't have cream blush. And I have a similar color. It's very natural looking. It's a wonder beauty that it was in a box of charm. And it's kind of like my shirt, a very natural blushy blush <laughs> right here. So, and this is uh, Bellini Costa Ray. So, just put it slightly, the same way he did. Just tap it on. And the thing is, he did not use any bronzer, or he did not use any uh, powder contour. And I was like shook, I'm like where? Where is the bronzer? Oh my God. So that was like, no. So I guess we are not doing it. All right, next highlighter. So he used a kind of small brush. So I'm just gonna use a little Morphe brush, it's like fluffy. It's probably eye blending brush, but that's similar shape and size. So I'm gonna use Ofra highlighter, just because I haven't used it in a while. It's a Star Island. It was part of Boxy Charm, I think. Or was it Ipsy Bag, one of those things. So he says like, look up and down and see where the light catches it. So I think it's over here. Oh, it's blinding. Over highlighters and not a joke. He didn't put it like all over. He just put it like a little bit here. So eyebrows filled in a little bit. So next he took the concealer he used. So I'm gonna go back to e.l.f. Comma concealer hydrating. And I'm using color light sand by the way. So let's try this and carve there's nothing to carve, I don't have much of eyebrows, so. <laughs> but we'll try it. So I'm using flat brush, that's another Morphe brush with no number or name. So let's try to carve something here. So I took a liberty to add a little bit of brow bone highlighter because I just had to. He might have forgotten 
that's what happened. <laughs> I'm just gonna think that he forgot just because I wanted to. So now we got the brows, we got all natural look. So he did apply the same blush stain to his lips, so that's why I assumed the blush was green blush. But he has, you know, beard and facial hair, so I'm just gonna do my lips a regular way. And I'll do my um, mascara and eyelashes and I'll be back for the full glam, uh, the real pro makeup artist look. So what I'm gonna use for the uh, lipstick is something neutral. I feel like this is smoky, I wanna use neutral. So this is a matte lipstick in the color Naked but Makeup Revolution. And I might top it with a little bit of a This Is Nude by Essence because it's more creamy. It's just for the heck of it. And I'll use Milani Lip Liner and I'll use ba Bad Girl Bang uh, Benefit Mascara and eyelashes, they're just cheap eyelashes that I have from Amora's and I'll be back with all of that. So that's it, the eyelashes are on, the mascara is on, the lips are on. I use the same combination as I said. I was gonna use the Makeup Revolution, a little bit of uh, Essence lipstick over it because I want it kind of be peachy and creamy. It's like my top. The earring, earrings are on which means um, in full glam. I have a top knot today. I just was feeling like something more sleek, full glammy. Although the shirt is not a full glam. This is a Walmart bought t-shirt. <laughs> this is so bougie, like bougie, the, the house, damn boots. Anyway, so what do we think? Uh, I like the look. It came out fully glam. Just like Robert says, fully glam doesn't mean all kind of colors on your face and all products all together at the same time. Full glam might mean just uh, a little more contouring, a little more, uh, you know, change in face shape. Although he did not use a powder contour or powder bronzer, but I think it was meant to be used for natural light. But since I don't have natural light here, so this is all we're getting. All of these, the box lights I have, they uh, mimic the natural sunlight. So that's supposed to look like natural light. So there you go, you got it. <laughs> so what I like about his technique that he's using very low uh, primer, that was a big yes, I agree. Primer should be used sparingly so everything looks more smooth and doesn't slide. Um, conceal should be used sparingly, I agree too. I tend to pile it on, but then I see that it does look kind of crazy on me. Although he did use two concealers, one highlighting concealer and one regular. So for me, I would probably use one, um, but it's my perf preference. I just use one concealer without, you know, under and over. Uh, the contour stick I did like, actually. I might use it in the future. I don't green contour usually, but I kind of like what he did with it. I like the light blush. I like the light blush in general anyway. Uh, the highlight, I pile it on. I mean, the more the barrier. <laughs> I'm usually lit like a tin man. But, you know, this subtle glow, there's something about it. I like it. You know, it's very natural. If I'm going to a daylight, I don't want to look like, although I don't care what it looks like, I like highlight, but I do agree with him that it's more natural looking and maybe more flattering for some people, especially for textured skin. Um, what else? The eyeshadow, the way he applies it, I love the tips, I love the, the way he holds the makeup brushes that you hold you hold it in to blend everything without uh, dispersing color everywhere and when you uh, angle the brush uh, this way you disperse color more outside. In fact, I could use some more blending I think. Well, he did not use the brow highlight so when I added the brow bone highlight it became very bright. And he might have not added it for a reason because it was supposed to be like natural-ish makeup, but oh well, I could not resist. Uh, what else did he do? The light powder, setting powder, I already do that. I don't like too much powder because it acts, uh, it adds more texture to skin, it adds more... If you are especially of a certain age, I'm 45, I don't want to pile the powder so it cracks. It looks too dry and caked. It doesn't look flattering. Um, what else did he do? Uh, he didn't do the glitter. He did 
you do glitter, liquid glitter, but I don't have any problems with Tati Beauty. Tati Beauty glitter is just exceptional. So I used hers. Uh, the eyebrows, I have none, so I have tattoo, so nothing about that. Um, all the techniques that he used, I really, really agree with him. I agree with everything he said about being subtle, but still glamorous. So let me know what you guys think about pro makeup tips and techniques. Do you agree with Robert Welsh about going light on certain items? I mean, I do. I don't bake. I use light primer and I use... Uh, I'm trying to use lighter concealer and lighter highlights, but I'm working on it. It's like work in progress. Not everything at the same time, all right? <laughs> Baby steps. But I love all the tips. I love the look uh, he created with this. The only thing I wouldn't do the waterline in black, but it's again it's your own eye shape we're talking about. So you have to customize all the tips, even from pro makeup artists. Customize. I would not do everything he's doing because my eye shape is different. So let me know what you guys think. Leave me a comments below. Do you watch Robert Welsh? Do you like his tips? Do you agree with him? Do you agree with me? I mean, we all have different opinions. That's why it's so beautiful about makeup that literally, I would say there is no rules. You can do whatever the F you want. <laughs> so it's all subjective. Whatever you like, I might not like. Whatever I like, you might not, might not like. But there are certain tips that do make sense. So I like that. So subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time and occasional Saturdays. Uh, please check out my other similar, well not really, tutorial that I made uh, following uh, Crystal Method, the beautiful and fabulous drag queen from season 12. I'm going to link that up here. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, <laughs> You can check out that tutorial that's totally different from this and all kind of fabulous. So uh, leave me a comment, like this video, and I'll see you next time in my next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!